spoiler alert this is a spoiler alert beloved so if you don't want to hear it turn your phone or your computer off now because this is a spoiler alert okay it's a spoiler. I have another spoiler for you. Of course, this spoiler alert was dropped yesterday afternoon by Married at First Sight fan. Honey, that's just to be on the T. You hear me? She gets all the dirt. This is a spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know this spoiler, please turn your phones off or click off and go to one of my other videos because this is a spoiler alert. Now, I am warning you because the other spoiler alert video, a few people said I didn't say spoiler alert enough, even though the title said spoiler alert. The picture said spoiler alert, so I'm going to say it this time. This is a spoiler alert. And if you don't want the spoiler for Married at First Sight Season 10, I humbly ask you to click on one of my other videos that does not say spoiler alert. Now, you know I dropped the spoiler last week. You can see the other spoiler alert video in reference to Brandon and Taylor. I'm going to lead up to this new spoiler just in case you want a few seconds to think. <laughs> that Brandon filed for an annulment from Taylor. That's spoiler number one. Mm -hmm. Spoiler number two is that are you sure you want to hear it spoiler number two is that zach and mindy decided not to stay married at the reunion or the finale mm -hmm. now even though i said and i told y'all that these couples were not going to make it it really saddens me when I hear that they're not going to make it or they decided not to stay together or they filed for an annulment, you know, because marriage, I just love marriage. And one of the reasons I watch this show is because I absolutely love marriage. I love people getting married. I love black love. I love to see black couples getting married because it's so hard for many of my uh, sisters of color to find a great guy to get married to. So, you know, when we hear that a couple is not making it or has not made it, making it, and yes, even the white couples too, I'm just saying as a woman of color, because my heart is still broken for Monet and Vaughn. I feel as if they could have uh, made it, even though they said Monet was friend of one of the producers, and so that's how she got on the show. But anyways, allegedly. So we have a new spoiler. Spoiler alert, I'm just letting you guys know I'm gonna drop it. I want to remind you guys, in the meantime, you're deciding if you're gonna listen or move on of my book. The reason why I know that a lot of the couples watch my matchmaking video from uh, the episode one, my matchmaking video, I told you who was gonna make it and who was not gonna make it. The only couple in my mind and based on how they were matched, based on what was stated, that's going to make it in my mind ha or have the possibility of making it is Austin and um, Jessica. Why? Because of their core values. And the reason why I know a lot of these couples are not going to make it, and I understand a lot of these guys, is because of my book, 23 Times of Guys You Might Meet on Social Media. It's not necessarily about social media uh, dating, but it's about being open single ladies to meeting guys wherever you go at the supermarket at the gas station on social media in one of your groups on youtube on facebook on instagram on twitter okay so be open of possibly meeting someone so i just want to remind you guys of my book because people ask me about my books all the time and i forget 
The reason why you want to choose the right guy is because you don't want to end up single ladies being the naked wife. When you choose the wrong guy who is not able to love you and protect you and provide for you as God intended in the Bible, in Genesis, when God put Adam and Eve in the Bible, you will end up being the naked wife. I also, for you ladies that's going through a hard time struggling with your identity, in Christ I am. This is my daughter. She'll be 26, by the way. All right? And, spoiler alert, it's still coming. I'm just giving you guys a few seconds. Um, yes, people have asked me if I, if they send me a t-shirt, will I wear it? Yes, I will wear it as long as it's not freaky or ratchet or anything like that. I will wear a t-shirt and I will give you a shout out. And yes, if you want to send me anything to buy coffee, I will accept it. Thank you for Maria. You bought me coffee for about a week. Thank you. I appreciate it, girl. And my cash app is the dollar sign and my name Janice Milton. And I forget, and people keep asking me, and I forget to throw it out there in all of my videos. So now I have my little note here, and I'm remembering because people are getting on me. Um, so yes, thank you, Maria. I will be stopping to get coffee today, girl. All right. Spoiler number three is that Michael filed for an annulment from Mika. No, I told y'all this wasn't going to work. I told you guys. First of all, Mika introduced herself as an alpha female. I always have a problem with women of color calling themselves alpha female because when you say alpha female, what many hear is the angry black woman. And so ladies, we need to get away from calling ourselves alpha females. And church girls, church girls, we only speak what thus saith the Lord. I am the beloved of God. I am the apple of God's eyes. I am the righteousness of Christ. I was born in a Christ. Ain't nowhere in there that says you need to act like an alpha female. But I understand many of us, women of color, have to act like alpha females because we have to, right? Many, many don't have fathers. Many, I didn't say all. Many, like none of the black people on the show, the four black people, no daddy. And many struggle and fight and you have to work hard. Pay attention to the vows for the black girls. Taylor's vow was a little better than Mika's. And the first thing Mika said was, I'm going to work hard. Why? Listen to the white girl's vows. I'm going to basically, let me translate it to you. They're saying, I'm going to enjoy all that you can do and provide and protect for me. But as black women, as black people, it's just in our DNA that I have to fight. And I have to struggle. No, choose. Beloved, single girls, church girls want to get there. Choose so you don't have to fight and struggle. Now, Michael, I already know he ain't going to work. Hello, the ex-girlfriend has spoken out. And no, I don't have the paperwork in front of me. But hello, it is all over social media. And let me just say that 99.999999% of the tea we get, we don't have any paperwork. We don't know for, for a fact that what married at first sight said, hey, girl, that is true. We don't have any paperwork. She said the receipts are coming very soon, which is why I was waiting a little bit to see if I got, got the receipts. Okay, so yes, it's somebody like the one girl that says she dated Michael. Hello, it's been confirmed several times. It has been confirmed. She dated him. And a list of other things. And one of my other videos, I read a list of things that she said that, that happened before. That he has a crude sense of humor. And he's offensive and he's a, a know it all. And he's a politician at heart. Now, that has piqued my interest because I am very much, I love politics, I love history, I love to talk about our government and so on and so forth. So, if, excuse me, if someone mentioned a person of color, politics, then that usually means their political views don't match. So I'm interested to see what Michael's polit political views are. And so my beloved, those are three couples. Rumor has it allegedly that has not make, made it. 
allegedly Michael filed for an annulment, according to Meredith First Sight fan, right after taping. And we saw on the upcoming show where he lied, allegedly. The ex-girlfriend said that he's a liar. He was, allegedly. So even though in my head I already know, watch my matchmaking episode, I already know, and I think I did when the article came out in the some magazine, I did a video on that. That was about a few months ago before this show came on, and I was reading about each person. I sort of kind of already said, oh, this is not going to work out. Mm -mm, it's not going to work. Why? Core values are not the same. Beloved, there is just so much tea that I don't even have time to do it. And I have another video I wanted to do about, in my opinion, I don't think these couples are being matched to, to, to win. I don't think they're being matched based on their core values. I think they are being matched to fail and they're being matched for drama. <coughs> Excuse me. Because think about it, beloved. How many times in these 10 seasons have you said, why did they match them together? Not even if you, let's say you just watched one or two seasons. Okay, there were a couple of seasons I fell off after the matchmaking and the wedding because I was like, oh, they're not going to work out. And sure enough, they don't work out because their core values don't match. Okay, Amber just came out. Amber from season nine said she asked for a black guy, but she was open. So when you say you're open, then you're able to get whatever you want to get. I just think that Amber should not have been matched. Amber needs counseling. Mandy needs counseling. Uh, Mika needs extensive counseling. And yes, some of these men need counseling. Michael needs counseling. Uh, Brandon needs counseling. Zach needs counseling. Intensive counseling because you can see and tell from based on what they say and family members said about them that there are some underlying issues that they need to work through and, and work on. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I don't know if I'm watching live tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I, I have to take my baby to the doctor to get his four-year-old, four -year five-year-old shots or something like that. Child. Then they want to give him four at one time. I was like, uh, no, you are not giving my baby four shots. He's only going to get two, and then I'll bring him back to get two more. Oh, God. So I don't know if I'm going to watch live because, you know, I have to take my nap. If I don't take my nap, you know, I am, I can't be crumpy. Anyways, I love you, my beloved. I love you. I love you for supporting me, watching my videos. Love the comments. I am going to get to those comments. Um, I absolutely love and adore you. Thank you so much for watching me. Let me know what you think about the spoiler. So Brandon has filed for an annulment. Michael has filed for an annulment. And Zach and Mindy um, decided to not to stay together at the decision day. <gasps> I forgot a spoiler. Allegedly, allegedly, Zach was having an emotional affair with one of Mindy's friends. And that's going to come out tonight. Oh my God. I'm trying not to say that anymore. Now, Rumor has it, it's the girl that showed up that she didn't know was going to come, was on the vacation. I don't know. She don't look like Zach type. But we shall see. Woo! Girl. Mm. I have to go. Subscribe, share this out. I love you. Bye. See you later. It's that see you tomorrow morning with the review.